Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain a few useful methods of the random module. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, people, in this video, I'm going to explain how we can generate some random numbers as well as a few other useful methods of the random module. Now, we're not going to be creating true random numbers, but something called pseudo random numbers, which are fairly darn close. So the first step is to import the random module at the top. Import random. We now have access to everything that the random module has to offer. Let's begin by generating a random number between one and six, like we're rolling a dice. So what I'm going to do is say x equals random dot rand int, and we can generate a random integer between a certain range. If I want one through six, I will state one comma six, and then we can generate a random number between one and six, like we're rolling a dice. So if I were to print the value of x, then we will get a random number between one and six. For example, I just got a one, a two, a three, and a six. All right. We can also generate a random floating point number too. Let's say y equals random dot random. So this will give us a random number between zero and one. This time I'm going to print y. So we have 0 0.49 and some change, 0.145 and 0.858. We can also generate a random choice from a list or other collection. Let's say we're playing a game of rock, paper, scissors. So let's create a list. I'll just call this my list equals square brackets. And we will have three choices, rock, paper, and scissors. So let's say Z will be the random string that we generate. Z equals random dot choice and we will pass in my list. And let's print Z. So this will generate a random choice from my list called my list. So we got scissors, paper, and rock. We can also use the shuffle method of the random module to shuffle a list or other collection. Let's say we're working with a deck of cards. Cards equals, let's say one through nine, and we have a jack, a queen, a king, and an ace. This won't be a full deck of cards, it'll just be one suit. So we can actually shuffle this list by using the shuffle method. Random dot shuffle. What do we want to shuffle? We want to shuffle our cards. And I will display my cards with a print statement. So the shuffle method will shuffle a list or other collection for you. Well, everybody, that's a few useful methods of the random module. If you'd like a copy of all this code, I will post this in the comments down below. Don't be afraid to smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.